So, welcome back. It's December 13th. It's 35 degrees. No place I'd rather be than in my hangar. Trying to figure out what's wrong with my engine. So, backstory is I put a new digital tack with a proximity sensor uh, in the engine. Went to run it a few days ago. Uh, everything was fine. Ran it up to full speed, about 2,800 RPMs, and about 10 seconds later, uh, the engine was spitting and sputtering and trying to quit. So, uh, asked on the KR Net forum what people thought, um, and probably the most likely answer I got was that I've got a uh, dropped valve seat. So I came out yesterday after taking a break uh, and pulled the plugs, checked the compression, and sure enough my number two cylinder is dead. Um, so we're about to pull the valve cover and start this process of uh, you know, kind of a little more investigation, but I'm pretty sure that head's got to come off, and uh, <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens when we get it off, what we find. So, let's get at it. So this is number two back here. Yeah. That's the intake. It's stuck open, so now we gotta figure out why. Engines are known for dropping valve seats, so probably what it is. I did have a ticking noise uh, for a while. It seems to have stopped, but every second blade, and I'm sure that was the piston hitting the intake valve. Hopefully it was just licking it, and uh, I maybe have a small mark on the piston. I have a significant gouge in the piston. We're going to be changing the piston too, so we'll see. Okay, rockers are off. Everything's disconnected, I think. Time to remove the head bolts, head nuts. And pull this off and see what we got.
Hey, moment of truth. Let's see what we got. did that take? About an hour. So, before I flip this over, let me reposition the camera so we can all see together what we're going to see. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Not really liking that. I'll have to look at that closer after I get it cleaned up and see if you can see there's a pretty good pretty good mark there. Okay, let's flip this thing over and see what we got. Oh yeah. That's what I would call one dropped valve seat. Well, Mark, you were right. You win. So, without measuring that, I'm gonna guess that's the standard quarter inch valve seat. It's going to get the deep seats. And if you're wondering about the CHT system, I actually have a six channel. There are extra ports welded into the head when we uh, rebuilt the engine. Truth be told, I've never seen really hard, uh, any difference between the CHTs on these cylinders. Uh, they typically run about 250 degrees and and I think the what that's useful for is if you were down on power and you wanted to know if you had a cylinder that was dead that you could uh, flip around and if you have a cold cylinder obviously you're you're down for whatever reason spark plug spark exhaust valve something but uh, anyway there's the big reveal that's what a drop the valve seat looks like actually first one I've ever seen so uh, when I get the valves out we'll see if there's any real damage in there I don't know, maybe this head isn't gonna be able to be rebuilt but we'll see and that, as far as that piston goes, uh, don't know yet. I just got to get that cleaned up and it's a forged piston, so uh, I, I think you could probably get away with cleaning that up and letting it go. But uh, it's not that hard to change a piston while it's a part like this. So 
I'm probably leaning towards just doing that. Anyway, hope you had as much fun as I did. It's nothing like tearing apart your 20 hour engine. So now I gotta get the other side off. So anyway, that's it for today.